today we're going to be looking at some RGB lighting. Now, I received this a very long time ago before everything happened. So we're going to take a look at it. This is from a company called Viltrox, and this is the WP35. So the light itself, not too bad. We've got quite a lot going on on the background here. Uh, we do have two slots here for two batteries, which are quite nice. They are NP5550s or 570 series batteries. I think I do have some of them from some other videos, so we'll have a look at them. Um, but you do also get a power brick with it. Now, the only downside for the power brick for myself is that I'm in the UK, so two pin doesn't work. But there is a little fancy button there, so you can take that off and just buy another adapter. They cost next to nothing. You can probably get them on Amazon or something like that. But quite a nice little adaption. Now flip this over. We do have the light itself. And the light is covered by four metal plates. Feels like steel. So these are little angular plates. So depending on what you're trying to shoot. So you can actually change the angle of the of the actual image. Uh, of the light, sorry. So it can be displayed on what you want. If you were sick and tired of seeing this image on your desktop. Stay tuned for today's sponsor. And I'll show you exactly how to get rid of it right now. So all we need to do is head over to Google and type in www.vip-scdk, click on enter, and it's going to send us to this page where we can get everything from Steam, Origin, Uplay, and even PC keys. But the one we're talking about today is the Windows 10 Pro Global Key, coming in at $22.58. But with today's discount codes, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get it for cheaper. So all we need to do is head over to the promotion code and type in SKJT, click on apply and you'll see your 2258 has just dropped to 1693. And just remember Windows 10 Global does allow you a free upgrade to Windows 11 as well. So if you want to get your hands on any of these deals, please do check the links in the description. There'll be a link there for all of these deals from VIP SCDK. Now on the back here, we do have a few things going on. We have two ports there, which will allow our batteries. We do have a dim select channel select, sorry, and a shift. And then we've got CCT, HSL, RGB, WY, little grid reference, as well as FX. On button, off button, and then CHGR. Not sure what that is. Probably have to, I'd say look at the instructions, but it didn't come with me. And then we do have our DC 18 volt 3 amp supply there. So you don't have to use the one that came in the box. You don't have to use the one that came in the box. You can just uh, use your own if you want to buy another one, depending on where you are in the world, if it'll fit on your actual device. Now, the bracket arm itself is fully maneuverable, as we can see there. It's got two plastic teeth grooves on each side, which is quite nice. And then a little bracket on one side just to tighten it all up. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple batteries. So you've got two different types of batteries you can use. You can use the F550s or the 570s. These are 550s. And they literally just slot in like that. Two batteries each side. And then it just hooks up like that. So you've got your two batteries. Very nice. All good and dandy. Like I said, with the plates, so we're going to fully open the plates. I'm going to show this on an angle so I don't blind anyone. I don't really fancy doing that. So, obviously, I've got it all turned on. So, we've got the little LED screen all lit up, which is quite nice. On-off button. You can change the channel and the grouping. Obviously, we talk, spoke about the 18 volt. I'm using two batteries instead of the standard power supply. You've got SST, HLS, HSL, sorry, RGB, WY, grid reference, and then FX. And then we've also got some presets here. So, you can see, I'm trying to do it so I don't blind anyone. So HSL is going to allow us to change the different hues. And then if we click the buttons in, it's got presets of 0, 25, 50, and all the way up to 100. And then we've also got the hue we can change depending on the color. So if we click that through, it'll randomly go through all the colors, which is quite nice. And then you've got the saturation between 0 and 100. So we've got that as well. If we go to RGB and WY, this is going to allow us to change each individual color to perfectly align what we want so if we want i don't know if you wanted a little bit of red and then uh, a little bit of green and then you can just circle through if you have a preset that you already use so if you're if you're filming and your lights are already set up to how you want them you can also go through that so we also do have preset color tones that we can go through and then you can just mess around with them as well. Same with FX. So we do have some FX going on here. So lightning, we have a bit of lightning going on there. And then if we just circle through, you can see alone that they are changing. I'll try and put it on an angle so you can roughly see what's going on. But I don't want to blind anyone. And then literally all we can do is just swap through all the different functions. So you got 
blinding light going on there, a little bit there. Got bright white light. Got more of a tone light. Got more like a fire. And then you can circle through all these different lights. But then if you just want to go back to basics, you can just hit the CCT button on the back. And then what that will allow you to do is change the actual dim and then allow you to change the how bright you want it. And then also the red and green. So that's if you just want a little bit of extra light or if you want more red, more green. I'm trying to do it so I don't blind anyone here. But yeah, as you can see, that is extremely bright. That's on full 100%. If I knock it down to zero... That's what you get for 1%, 25, 50, 75, and 100. So you're not going to go wrong with a light as bright as this. So the light is extremely bright, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's going to have to be used in a room that's obviously bigger than what I'm recording in now because it's going to project the light wherever you want by using the four little windows, which is quite nice. Um, Obviously, we do have a port on the back there, so we can attach this to a tripod or something like that. I've currently got a new mount stand for the overhead shots, which comes with sides, uh, things on the other side, so I can just hung, hang mine on that, and then good to go. I'm just going to turn that off there, which is also quite nice. So overall, not too bad of, of a light. It's extremely bright, don't get me wrong. Um, if you're going to be using it, it's going to have to be pinpointed to where you want or light the entire room. And then if you're going to be doing more of the shots that we're doing here, you're going to have to have two of them to protrude both sides of your face, unless you're going to have direct light going on. But overall, I do actually quite enjoy it. This was just a small little video uh, regarding it. Obviously, I am going to be using it now in the video. I'm trying to get the lighting back in this room because obviously I've just started doing YouTube again, but we're getting there. So just before we do go, I'll go through a little bit um, of the features. So apparently it is app wireless control as well. So there is an app for the We Light Pro app. Uh, which allows you to use it through a normal app instead of having to go around the back and change it you can use an app for it relatively priced very well i have to admit uh it can be used as a handheld mobile light as well like i said you do have the port, port uh, the port at the bottom which allows you to attach either a tripod or a hand mount to it which is quite nice uh cct mode between 2860 100k by color temperatures which is quite nice so you do have full maneuverability from one percent to 100 percent on that Full color range of 36,000 color values. Uh, hue, uh, 0 to 360 degrees. Saturation from 0 to 100, as well as INT, which is 0 to 100 brightness. And then, of course, we went through the FX, uh, FX scenes and lighting effects. So that's everything from your flash, uh, your welding, your CCT loop TV. You can even attach it so it bloops when music is lit, when heard. And then we went through the COL mode, which is the custom color mode which we can go into and then it's where you can set it perfectly to brilliant blue or teal or tea uh, or uh, or turquoise and stuff like that which is quite nice so we spoke about the two um charging mode so we do have the dc adapter if you can get one obviously you might have to get a different form of it if you get it from a different country uh, like i'll have to get a new one because mine's i'm not sure what that fitting's from it might be america but i'm here in the uk and then of course you've got the lithium ion batteries which you can put in there so you've got two different types you've got the f550s or you've got the 570s you can get them on amazon very very cheap and again we spoke about the four leaf metal uh metal design obviously they're not gonna they're not plastic or anything, so they're not going to burn or get very hot. And then, of course, you've got your the, the multi-adjustable angled for the light as well, so you're not going to have to worry about that either. So all in all, you've got everything you could possibly need in a light, whether you're going to be using it for photography, for filming like this, content creation, or even just simple things like lighting up a room. Really is going to be a bonus to your uh, setup or however you really is going to be a bonus to your setup or however you want to use this by all means please pop down the description below there'll be a link there so you can go check it out for yourself and look for the descriptions yourself relatively is a really good strong light especially for the price that they're selling at so please do go check it off but if not if you've got any questions drop them down in the comment section below I'm more than happy to help but by all means don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and i'll catch you on the next one